One and done's. It's something that we see in all sports. A one and done is basically a player that has one very good, close to, or even an all-star caliber season, but then never ends up being the same for the rest of his career. Now we've seen a lot of different forms of it. Some players never return to the league. Some players continue their careers, although they don't put up the same numbers. We can see a lot of different versions of a one and done player. And although we may have seen a few in the 2010s in the MLB, there's one player in particular that stands out, and his name is Christian Villanueva. Now before we get into more details, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Also make sure to drop a like if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys had ever even heard of Christian Villanueva. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. Villanueva played for right around one calendar year in the major league level and all of his at-bats came in a San Diego Padres uniform. His primary position was third base and I think you can easily define him as a power hitter. In 2017, he had four home runs in just 32 at-bats, but 2018 was his real breakout year. In 351 plate appearances, he had 20 home runs with 46 RBIs and had a 236 batting average with a 299 on base percentage as well. So yes, his batting average wasn't that great, and those numbers aren't really all-star caliber. However, they would definitely help any major league team. Now Villanueva's season unfortunately got cut short because he did break his finger and couldn't return for the rest of the year. However, the most shocking part of that is that the Padres ended up cutting him in that offseason. It's true that San Diego did go on to sign Manny Machado, who's definitely a better third baseman, no question about it. However, you would expect that someone like Villanueva, who had 20 home runs in 110 games the past season, would be able to play some sort of a role in that club. What's even more shocking is that no other team ended up picking him up, which is why he ended up going to Japan and signed with the Yomiuri Giants. In 2019, he had 12 home runs in 113 at-bats with a 218 batting average, and so far in 2020, he's hit 5 home runs in 27 plate appearances with a 253 batting average. So the power numbers are still there, and yes, I'm aware that the baseball in Japan is not exactly at the level of Major League Baseball, but it's still very competitive, and I would like to have seen Villanueva have another shot at the MLB. He is still right in the middle of his prime as he just turned 29 years old last June. And although he still has plenty of time to get another shot at the MLB, this just goes to show you how hard it is to stay in the big leagues even if you do have some sort of success. But that's gonna do it for me. I know it was a bit of a short video, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that Villanueva will indeed end up in the MLB again someday. Also, if you guys are new, like I mentioned, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you all next time. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside of ghost and hop up in a fan, on. I know I'm about to blow, oh, oh, when you done? They try to take me.